This is Music and Message, and this is Jesus Will Dry Those Eyes. Cut you off, take you to love. Why should I? I'm not better than you, you know as well as I. There's so much more to life than singing the blues like you're gonna die. There's a better way to live and choose life. It might be easier to survive One day your tears will dry You'll run out of tears to cry Better to be born again than to live live a life Cause one day Jesus will dry those eyes There's only so many tears you can cry I got over the dark October long time ago Call on Jesus just as well as I You gotta choose between putting shoes On little one's feet and living a lie Growing up and staying sober And hey, not getting high It's a whole lot easier to provide They will dry And all you run out of tears To cry Oh, better to be born again Than to live, live a life Cause one day Jesus will dry those eyes There's only so many Understand the length, the breadth, the depth of mind, bending depth of the love of Jesus, who died for you, conquering death to give you life as a free gift. Than to live, live a life. One day Jesus will dry those eyes. There's only so many tears you can cry. There's only so many tears you can cry. Can you choose between putting shoes 
on little one's feet and living a lie. Can you, can life being sober without getting high be easier to survive and, and easier to provide? How can you find a life that'll never die? These questions, answers to these questions, explored here. Well, just imagine you're driving down the road, you're cruising, cruising down the road, and you got your brothers and sisters, little ones, or your or your children, babies in the back seat of the car. Or if you're older, older you got your grandchildren in the back seat of the car, and coming and it's a two lane thing, and and coming right towards you on the other side is somebody that's impaired. Okay, and it doesn't matter what it's impaired from. Maybe it's a health problem, or 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 maybe it's alcohol or drugs or THC. You know, delayed reaction time. Okay. Okay, so impairment. Do you want them driving? Do you want that other person driving towards your family? Well, of course not. Or you. Do you want somebody building your house? Or putting your wheel on your car? Or or fixing your car? Or your minister? Or your doctor? Or your lawyer? Um, do you want them in, impaired? Of course you wouldn't. Okay, so, so your best health and your best functioning is going to be off these substances. Or in the best state of health that you can get. So you, you, you might survive better, huh? You know, you might provide better too. You might provide better. How do you get from point A to point B? This is a hot, hot topic right now, now, nowadays. How do you get to that point? What about getting clean and sober? What about that? Okay. You, well, you, well you, you might need some help. You might need some de detoxification at a local center or rehab for stabilization. And then a program to follow up on. Spiritual programs have been in place for years. Counseling might be needed. I know that the biggest biggest change that I've seen has been when people have given over their given over their uh, situation over to a higher power. They admitted what admitted they had a problem. They came to believe that there's a power greater than themselves that could help them with that problem to restore their life to sanity. And 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 then they gave their lives and their wills so will over to the higher power. 12-step programs have this mindset. My higher power is Jesus. I found everything I need in Jesus. I, in, in the simple good news, um, it's true. Nobody has done life completely right. No, I haven't done li life completely right. You won't. Nobody will. You know, all of sin that comes short of the glory of God. Every last one of us. Um, but there's one person who did do it right, and in, in the person of Jesus, who, loved, who lived a sinless life, loved us, and died for us on a, on, a, on a cross, rose again in three days. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And you call upon the Lord Jesus and as a higher power, and then you, then you will be saved. And that resurrection power that brought him back from the grave and that created created the world, that can create a new world in you and give you the power to go from death to life and turn around. It's true that as believers, it's by grace we're saved, by faith, not by works, lest anyone could boast about getting there. But God can give you the power to put down what he has his finger on in your life and help you get better. I pray for mercy and grace and protection and peace in this life as I put these messages out and, and real tangible, practical, spiritual, healthy blessings for you as you face this truth. It's life-changing, restorative power. Nobody is better or more deserving. Nobody is more worthy of God's love than anybody else. He loves us all. At the foot of the cross is ground is level. Christ is into saving the world, and it's what he's out to do. Um, it might be difficult putting down things at first, but it'd be well worth it after a while, after you've suffered for a bit. You'll find life and life more abundantly with God's grace and mercy. You know, it's no guarantees, but many times people will get healthier and physically and mentally one way or another. You'll be saved eternally. There's only so many tears you can cry getting there.
Many times you can provide and survive better after you've made your peace. Or maybe that's not you. You're not a provider. And I'm not cutting, not cutting off anybody and what, you know, and believers, what you're doing either. But if these, problems, these things are causing problems, things like this are causing social, legal work or physical or emotional problems, then it's time to seek help. You don't have any of these problems? Don't have any of them. Okay, well, all right. There's the, 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 then likely pride is a problem. Pride is still there. Nobody's better or more deserving. All have sinned and come short of glory, God. We all need a savior. And so we all, everybody has something. Everybody. We won't find a real answer in any other person, drug, drink, or anything else. Jesus. Only Jesus. So he can, he can, and he will dry those eyes. And for this cause, I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with its might by his spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that you being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend all the saints, what is the breadth and the length and the depth and the height, and to know the love of Christ which passes understanding that you might be filled with all the fullness of God. It's Ephesians 3, 14 through 19. And one day there'll be no more pain, no more sorrow, no more death, no more tears. All those tears will be dried. God, Jesus will dry those tears away. There'll be no more. One day your tears will dry You'll run out of tears to cry Or better to be born again Than to live, live a lie The one day Jesus will dry those eyes only so many tears you can cry. There's only so many tears you can cry. This has been Music and Message. Have a wonderful week.